Hi, folks. Welcome back to Century 21 Tech Talk with me, Brains. In this briefing, we're going to be discussing the technical specifications of the World Aquanaut Security Patrol Vessel Stingray. As the flagship of the WASP fleet, Stingray is recognized around the world, and I am just one of its many admirers. However, there is someone else who is far better equipped to tell you more about this incredible craft. Former WASP member and aquanaut in charge of Thunderbird 4, Gordon Tracy. Gordon is currently visiting Marineville for an oceanographic conference and is joining us by secure satellite link-up. Hi folks, Gordon Tracy speaking. I guess old Brains wanted some time off. So he's asked me to give you a little presentation about Stingray. And what better place to host the briefing than Stingray's home base, Marineville. Stingray is the latest in a long line of impressive vessels used by the World Aquanaut Security Patrol. Before joining International Rescue, I served in their prestigious ranks and was assigned to active duty on Stingray under the command of its former captain, Bradley Holden, later to become Captain Gray of Spectrum. Since Holden's departure from the WASP, Stingray has been crewed by Captain Troy Tempest, a veteran of the old submarine service, and hydrophone operator Lieutenant George Lee Sheridan, better known to the personnel of Marineville as Phones. They are often accompanied on their missions by Marina, the beautiful daughter of Aphany, ruler of the undersea kingdom of Pacifica. Troy and Phones rescued Marina from the evil King Titan of Titanica, a foe who continues to plot against them to this day. Stingray is located in Pen 3 under Marineville's control tower and remains at permanent readiness so that it can be launched at a moment's notice. When action stations is sounded, the crew take up standby positions in the injector bay, poised for the action. If the launch station's alert sounds, the crew activate their injector tubes and are lured towards Pen 3, where Stingray awaits their arrival. The hatch opens by remote, and the injector tubes connect to the floor of the control cabin. The crew chairs are lowered into position and clamped in place. The injector tubes are then retracted and the main hatch sealed. The elevators holding Stingray's lift platform in position are released and the craft descends into the water. Rate 1 acceleration is applied. Stingray rises off its cradle and out through the doors of the pen into the launch tunnel. After a fast transit along the launch tunnel, the ocean door is lowered and Stingray bursts out into the ocean, ready to proceed with its latest mission. Stingray is 80 feet long and is the successor to the earlier Wasp vessels Thresher and Swordfish, both of which were built around the revolutionary Rate Master propulsion system that began development in the late 2040s. It is this fantastic propulsion system that allows Stingray to travel at a maximum sustained speed of 600 knots, making it almost four times faster than Thunderbird 4. The craft is able to operate at depths that far surpass the operational limits of conventional submarines and has even survived a treacherous journey through a subterranean sea. Stingray's missions often bring the crew into contact with hostile undersea aliens intent on destroying the people of the land. Thankfully, the craft is armed with a full complement of powerful sting missiles which are able to penetrate the armor plating of most enemy vessels. These missiles can be adjusted to one of 10 destructive force settings and contain sophisticated guidance systems, making them highly accurate. No patrol ship would be complete without a variety of auxiliary craft, and Stingray is no exception. The ship carries a pair of aqua sprites, two-person mini submersibles that are perfect for scouting small spaces and ferrying supplies between larger submersibles. 
When a quieter approach is required, the crew can use the single-person sea bugs, powered undersea maneuvering units capable of fantastic speed. If the crew need to go ashore in a hurry, they can ride one of three monocopters. These single-person hovering transports work on the same principle as our international rescue hover bikes. Another vital component of Stingray's equipment is the hydrophone system, a vast improvement on the old-style sonar. The hydrophone is a much more sophisticated and sensitive instrument. It can detect the smallest movement in the undersea environment and provide crucial early warning of potential threats in the area. If Stingray is damaged and taking on water, the emergency pumps will automatically start pumping the water out again. If the main power system fails, there is also a manual pump system that can be used, although this is much slower than the automated system. Gee! Attention, this is Marineville Control. All personnel stand by for battle stations. That's a sound I haven't heard in quite a while. I'd better report to the control tower now, folks. The Stingray crew may need some assistance with this one. See you soon, and PWOR! Phone? 